Hello guys, Kieran Booker here and welcome to another video. It's been a while, um, just about five, six months I think. Um, you know, I thought, you know, I, I should probably get this channel back underway. Um, I got quite a lot of views and uh, a few comments down from the last video um, requesting that I did some more stuff. So, I'm going to do some more stuff. I'm going to make it a little bit more frequent. Uh, I'm going to try and, you know, get some flight videos underway and... Uh, yeah, see what I can do there, but anyway, uh, not really an update video, we can uh, get into uh, the tutorial. The uh, What we're going to be showing you today is how to install AI aircraft into Flight Simulator X. Um, it's a very cool little feature, or cool little thing you can do. Um, basically what it'll do is make your um, simulator experience much more realistic uh, when you're on the ground. And also in the sky, in, in various uh, you know locations and parts of the game. Uh, but we'll get straight into it. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to uh, Internet Explorer, obviously. Uh, use Google or Bing or whatever search engine you use. You're going to type in World of AI. Should be the first link here, worldofai.com, blah, blah, blah. Easy as pie. On the top here, you're just going to click the installer. And then it should say uh, the World of AI installer can be downloaded from the package page. Click that. And then you should get these um, these kind of you know tab things, the links. Uh, you should look for the top one here. Uh, make sure it says the World of Air Installer FS9 or FSX. Obviously, this is for FSX, but I believe it'll probably work similar in FS9 or and FS2004 as well. Uh, nice and easy. Um, you're either going to take it from you know FlightSim or FlightSim.com or AvSim, your choice. Uh, just got to make sure you have an account on uh, both of these, otherwise it will not download. So yeah, you're just going to grab yourself that uh, nice um, piece of software for the installer. Uh, once you have the installer, um, I seriously recommend that you run it as administrator. This will prevent any problems with installing the uh, liveries. Uh, if you do come across a problem, then that should solve uh, running it as administrator should solve that. There's two ways of doing it. Obviously, every time you go onto it, you can just run as admin. Or, of course, you can go over to Properties, uh, Security, and uh, you click on Administrator or Kieran's PC, you know, or whatever your PC name is. Uh, you're just going to make sure you, you have full control and just apply. And then it's basically every time you go onto it, you basically have uh, Administrator. So, yeah. Anyway, um, you're just going to click onto it once you've got it. Um, and it should come up with this neat little application. I'm just going to click next on this bit. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure this is selected to Flight Simulator X. As you can see, the root directory is down at the bottom there. Um, but what we're going to do now is figure out where, how to get the um, livery into this box here. Okay, so you're going to go back over to the website and you're going to click on the packages. Um, and then it should say here all World of Air packages. There's a fair few there, but you know this gives you miles more. So click on there. Um, and just literally uh, search for whatever airline you want. Uh, there's another good way of doing it. You can click on airports. You can actually type in the ICAO for the airport. Um, you know, for example, let's go like something. Uh, let's do it. Uh, something like you know Manchester Echo Golf Charlie Charlie. Search, and it literally gives you all the aircraft that fly into, or all the airlines that fly into. Um, Manchester. So if you're a frequent flyer into Manchester, then you can just go and uh, take some of these aircraft and add them into the game. But anyway, back to the packages. Um, we're just gonna go with something basic, which I already have now. Um, you know, just as an example. You know, say you want to get EasyJet. Um, you're just gonna click. You know, it should say FSX. Then you do the same as the installer. Either grab it from AFSIM or FlightSim.com. You know, uh, once you've uh, downloaded it, uh, which I already have, got the EasyJet, I believe. Um, yes, I have. Uh, once you've installed it or downloaded it, um, obviously you should come up with a file. What I like to do is, is create my own file, uh, which is, well, it's somewhere. Uh, I just drag all, uh, here it is, World of AI Planes. Uh, as you can see, I drag, uh, it won't open for some reason because it's my computer. But anyway, I like to drag the file into there, uh, just makes it a little bit neater on your computer. Uh, anyway, you're going to go back over to the application here. Uh, there should be a little box here on the side. You're just simply going to click that. And then obviously search for your World of AI file in which you have dragged the file from the EasyJet or whatever airline you desire into there. Uh, we'll do EasyJet for example. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to double click it. As you can see, uh, just make sure it 
states the airline in there make sure you click the, the correct one um, so once that's in there um, it's all this is all correct obviously I wouldn't recommend messing with the root directory anyway so you can click next and then I agree and then next again um, this error is uh, not sure what this error is it shouldn't come up all the time uh, we just click continue and uh, usually I'm not sure I think that error is there because uh, extract files from manual okay yeah that error is probably there because I've already installed it but yeah you know the basics very very easy uh, basically what it'll do is it, it'll uh, it'll you just click next and it'll automatically install the um, aircraft you know into the game so then all you need to do is just click back and then you can you know continue searching for another another airline anyway I hope you guys have found this um, you know I guess kind of educational in a way I hope you have now you now know how to get AI aircraft into your game very very nice feature and it also makes your game a little bit more realistic if you're going if you're quite a frequent you know offline user uh, if you use VATSIM then you know uh, it's debatable you don't exactly need it but I guess it's pretty cool to have anyway uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, thank you very much for all the you know um, support I guess from the last video um, and uh, well I hope you've enjoyed um, thank you very much and I shall catch you in another video shortly bye bye for now